There are two kinds of rolls in tambourine playing. This video is about shake rolls. This is a fatiguing technique to practice, so make sure that you do it in short bursts of time and don't burn your hands out. Start with your arm fully extended and just turn the tambourine over from side to side, feeling the zill fall this way and then that. You can continue twisting and just go faster and faster. certain point you'll find that you can't make that full motion anymore and so now we're going to shorten it so it just wiggles up and down a little bit that's about as fast as most people can get so then the next thing we're going to do is just stretch the arm out a little bit get loose and then we're gonna do it again. And as we reach that top speed, we're gonna bend the elbow and allow the tambourine to come into like a vertical position balanced over the top of the arm above the elbow. This is where the balance and the efficient arm position really allow the roll to start to happen. You can still feel the zills going side to side in the frame, however, which is what gives it that rattly, shaky quality. Once you get that basic set of motions down, which does take a while, you can practice starting from your basic playing position, then you can lift up to your shake position, and then you can drop back and stop, like this. And a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm shaking in to get started, and then I'm shaking down to stop the tambourine, like this. To complete the concept, we're going to add to that a light articulation at the start and the stop. You can do this in your normal playing position across from here, or because the axis of the roll is here, you can go perpendicular to that axis and start down here. Of course, you have the option to play accents in exactly the same way. You just hit a little bit harder. As I said, this can be very fatiguing. So you want to practice each of these steps for quite a while in little short bursts. It's going to take more than a couple of days to get this really good. Make sure you're not wearing yourself out or getting so tense that you're causing injury. You can always push your hand away from you like this and flex your fingers back and then drop it down and sort of bring your fingers together like a hook, lift your arm up a little bit and stretch the inside of your elbow out, and then just shake it out, and then you're ready to go again. Crescendos and diminuendos are difficult to do because the zills are going back and forth so aggressively, they just make a lot of noise. So we sort of imply the volume going up and down by showing and telling a bit. And so, for example, if we're given like a piano to forte crescendo, we'll start the roll down here. and we'll stop it up high. That didn't really change dynamic very much at all from low to high, but it sort of looks like it did. Also, if you're on a stage with a whole group of people, it is a lower volume, not because you're playing it lower, but because the bodies in front of you are actually blocking the sound. And so it sort of has an emerging quality where it appears to get louder and it looks like it's louder kind of all at the same time. So it's a bit of a magic trick. There are more advanced techniques for actually getting the tambourine to go louder and softer in shake rolls, but they're pretty difficult and you really don't need to know what they are unless you're a professional.